This is for that person that's laying in bed, scrolling on TikTok right now. Get up. Get up. Somebody else's life literally depends on what you do or what you don't do. You may be feeling down and out right now. You may be feeling discouraged. But something that God spoke to me during one of my darkest, most depressed moments of my life, he said, don't be a mombi. Don't be a mombi. Because while you're laying in bed, while you're being down and out, while you're thinking about how you're feeling, they're going without. They need a mom. They need their dad. They need whoever you are, right? Whether you're mom, dad, whatever. And even if you don't have children, this applies to other areas, right? There is somebody out there and their life depends on what you're doing and what you're not doing, right? If you are oversleeping, if you're laying in bed, even if you're not depressed, right? But you're just laying in bed, you're oversleeping. You're, you could possibly be missing out on opportunities. Your children, your loved ones could be missing out on opportunities because you're not being obedient. You're not getting up when the Holy Spirit is calling you, right? And I've been through this myself, so that's why I can speak on this, right? The Holy Spirit tries to get you up at a certain time and you go back to sleep and then you miss out on something or your children miss out on something. Yeah, it could possibly happen another day but that's not the point is it do you like having to wait another day to get to go do something or to have something because of somebody else no you don't nobody does so love your neighbor as yourself right quit laying in bed quit sitting here scrolling feeling bad about your life start rebuking these spirits right start binding depression oppression whatever it is and even if you have to get up and drink three cups of coffee that day get up do whatever it takes right usually it don't once you get up you start moving around you go step outside and let the light hit your face or you start doing some stretches get in your word with god have that alone time with him you wake up you don't even need all that other stuff you don't even need the coffee you don't even need that but the point of it is when the holy spirit wakes you up get up and that, I know that's easier said than done. I know it's easier said than done because I've been there. God bless you. I love you.